Hello, my name is Andrew Butler, and I'll be talking to you today about the demography of the Appalachian Spotted Skunk. Despite previous studies finding a range-wide decline in the Eastern Spotted Skunk, only two previous studies have examined their survivorship. One of the plains subspecies in Arkansas, which found a low survival rate, and one of the Florida subspecies, which found a high survival rate. The Appalachian subspecies across 13, occurs across 13 states, but has not previously been studied. And therefore, the objectives of this study were to estimate the survival rate of Appalachian spotted skunks and evaluate several different hypotheses for survival, estimate the litter size, and estimate the population growth rate. In addition, we wanted to provide recommendations for future survival research. We synthesized data from four independent studies within the core of the Appalachian spotted skunks range, as indicated by the large gray region on the figure on the right. Studies occurred in Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, and sites across Virginia. In all studies, we use VHF collars to track survival of individuals and locate natal dens in the spring where we placed trail cameras to estimate litter size as kits came above ground. We synthesized this data together in a population matrix to estimate the population growth rate. We also evaluated support for three different for 13 different hypotheses of how sex, predator cover, and climate influence survival. Using data from 99 collared spotted skunks, we estimate this annual survival rate of adults to be 58%, which is intermediate between the plains and Florida subspecies. We also found that avian and mammalian predation was the largest source of mortality across studies, but disease was important locally. None of the covariates we included in the survival model selection were part of the top model. We estimated the litter size to be about three kits per female, and that the population was decreasing at a rate of 3% per year. We suggest that future studies monitor skunks over a wider land use gradient and include experiments of replicated sites where habitat manipulation is occurring. Also, future studies should focus on diseases such as canine distemper and their effects on population growth. We'd like to thank the following individuals for collecting the data and for the fu funding, following agencies for funding this project. With that, I'll take any questions.